Once upon a time, in 1915, in Belleville, France, two little baby girls were born. Both were called Edith Gassion Pierre. One of them grew up to be the iconic performer we all admire and love. The other, whose life seemed to mirror that of the first, without the fame, is here tonight. So please, welcome with her very own show, The Other Pierre! Good evening everyone, welcome to my show! Woo! It's so good to be here! I have the most wonderful guest on. You know, every day, if you're watching the show now, you can see that we're bringing on the most extraordinary people with wonderful stories and having so much fun. Anyway, today I have a beautiful person here in the studio. He's come all the way from Oxford, which is miles and miles away from here. It's miles away, isn't it? It's, it's a long way away, especially when there's an accident on the road. Oh, the there's always accidents in the UK. What is the problem? They drive in the dark. They drive in the dark. Well, that is very difficult, very stupid. You know, I, I don't drive yet. But I know someone's going to try and try, uh, teach me how to drive. But this, the problem is I'm 99 years old. Do you think I could drive at 99 years I old? I think if you found an instructor older than you, you would feel more confident. Oh, I don't think that's going to be possible. But anyway, let's see how we get on. So it's very good to have you here today, Chris. Nice to meet you too. See right? Yes. See right. I got it right. Yes. And you're from uh, the Random Theatre in Oxford. Beginning with almost. Almost. So we're almost random, but not completely. You're almost from the theatre. No, almost random theatre. You're not almost completely random, but almost random. As in not completely mad, but almost mad. Almost completely random theatre. I, I, I won't, I, I, I'll get it right eventually. Just, anyway, just very good to see you, Silver. Silver, can I call you Silver? Not really, no, no. my name's Chris. You, you like the name Chris? Yes. Like the Christmas? Yes. Like it's coming soon, you know, the Christmas? Know, but not to well, be abbreviated to Christ, as one person left me a note once saying, Dear Christ, it's Chris. It's not the Christ. No, no it's not, not the Christmas. No, no. Oh, this is getting very co confusing. It's like, uh, the, 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 what do you call it? The gibberish. Blah, blah. Blah, yeah. Anyway, would you like a whiskey? Well, that's very kind you of like you a to whiskey? offer. <laughs> ah! Obviously, God. some time since you took it's the stop getting, off. Oh, I tell you, there's uh, things that are happening here, conspiracies against me. Okay. I hope this whiskey tastes better than the one it, yesterday. It was like... Um, Thank you so much. I don't know what, what day it was yesterday, but let's hope it's all right. What do you think? I will join you. Oh, my God. What is this? It's, <laughs> it's so strong. It's not. It tastes like a, like a <sighs> chamomile. Oh, oh. Marcel. It's him again! It's him again! I, I don't know what to do. Hang on. Mm. Ah! Marcel, you are driving me crazy. I just... What are you doing? You, you can't put chamomile in my whiskey. I know, sweetheart, I know. I know, Sherry, I know I don't sleep very well. I know I'm getting very agitated, but I'm getting agitated because you do the stupid things, Marcel! It's not very nice. It tastes like I don't know what. Look, just stop tampering with my whiskey, you promise? Ah. <laughs> oh, Marcel, I love you. Bye-bye, <laughs> Sherry. Ah. He drives me crazy, Mr. Happens Chris. a lot, does it? He drives me crazy! So what happened to the original? Did he drink Do it? Do you know what he did yesterday? Swapped. He put apple juice in. Apple juice! Mm. Instead of whiskey. I don't know, do you think he's trying to tell me something? I think maybe he drinks it all first. But what? you have to be no. you have to be careful. One day he may run out of juice, he drinks two whiskey, and you don't know what this could be. No, I don't know anymore. I know it tastes like um shit, sorry. Don't want to use bad language. No, I don't. I, I, I would be merde. Merde is a nice yes. word. Merde! It tastes like merde. Anyway. Yes. So, would you like mm. to tell me something about what do you do? Well, I try and put on plays and read books and write books and write reviews and spend a lot of time. Have you heard of Facebook? Facebook, yes, of course I hear of Facebook, everyone. I am nearly the oldest woman. No, I am the old. No, I think I'm nearly the oldest woman on Facebook. 
you can never tell though. Sometimes it could be a young girl posting a picture of an old lady or a, a, a youngish lady. That I'm an old lady. Not at all, not at you all. You think I look like an old lady? Not at all. I wouldn't dream of saying something so inaccurate. Yeah. Would, even after one chamomile tea, yeah. I can still control my breath. Quite, quite I have the well. Botox, just like, you know, not mm. the accordion, yeah. not this one, Ilana. Ilana, mm. she is so old! She's about 100 years old. You can play that, can you? Oh, I sure I can, you yes. Want yes. Do you want me to play? Well, why not? Well, let me tell you about Ilana first. Yes. She has her Botox, you know, once I was playing her, and in the middle she goes, whoosh, completely collapsed. So I had to take off the glue very quickly, and she had no Botox. But I don't oh. have any. So I don't need any, I'm beautiful, no? But, but, of, but of course. Of course, but of I'm course. beautiful like my rose. And if like my Vion rose. Mwah, my Vion rose and my Marcel Givy. Oh. And if you had Botox, we wouldn't know you were smiling. I love him so much. Uh, sorry? Yeah. Sorry, you're talking If you had about Botox, me. we wouldn't know if you were smiling or if you were happy. No, that's exactly... Or if you were smiling. People, they did this. Yeah. <laughs> I had the Botox. <laughs> they look like the squirrel. And then you'll be stuck. <laughs> and then, then I'll be stuck. stuck. You want to hear me play the accordion? Why not? I, I play the accordion. Yes. But I tell you what, there's a problem. I'm not allowed to play any of my own songs. I try and improvise something, I make up something as I go along. Go because if I know, mm. they, they publish rubbish society, the PRS, Absolutely. they boom, boom, boom on my door. Ah! <laughs> with your neighbours? Do you hear them clapping in appreciation? I have a lot of problems with my neighbours. Obviously the ones who cannot a hear A lot properly. of problems. Everybody, neighbours, they're always a problem. They're never there. To, but they sh the problem is they're them. never there. Never they're there. never there. They don't know. Whatever. So they anyway, leave, they leave their animals? Me. Do they leave their animals unattended? Animals? Well, they, you say they're never there. Do you they have don't have the animals. They don't have the animals. No, they no. don't have the animals. We, Lauren, Lauren, mm. the producer, we don't yes. like talking about no. her, she's annoying. Mm. Yeah. Not only she annoying, but mm. she's stingy. Stingy? She never pay me, ever. Maybe. We had this conversation, you see, if you look, we had this conversation, all she do was laugh! Laugh, laugh, laugh! How much did she pay you last time? What, she never two, paid me. Two years ago? Never. Never paid you anything? Never pay me anything. So what are you going to do about it? What, are you what am do I going to do it? about yeah. it? Mm. Oh, I, I, but I, 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 I threw out of my show. I threw out of my show. Um, I, I said that, you know, this is rubbish, and I yeah. threw out. But no, she had the two cats. Yes. She had the two cats. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the Ellie, and one is the Peace. Mm -hmm. well, the Peace is a very funny cat. He, he wandered into everybody else's house. Is Peace Ginger? He, he is Ginger, mm -hmm. and I'm white. Mm -hmm. And he rela he's on Facebook all the time. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows him. Mm -hmm. Everybody know Ellie as well. Everybody know how she's very holistic. She she's like a Buddha. She goes in the garden and she sits there and she meditates very quiet for a long in a time. slow fashion. In a very slow yes. fashion. I think the Lauren is mad. Wow. I think she's yeah. completely mad. Yeah. So that means if she's completely mad, you'll have to look at talk to Ellie and Pierce to get you the money. Well, yes, I think I might do. Yeah. I might do, but I don't know. Anyway, she's the producer yeah. and she's the pen the ass. Yeah, but yeah. as I say, what can I do? What can I do? I do my best. I'm a performer. We all do our I am the most famous, most famous, famous, most 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 exciting, most vivacious, amazing singer in the world. Why do I work for her, do you think? You should get her to work for you as your personal yes, assistant. Yes, I think you're right. You're and then right. when you promise I to pay I... her and she asks you for the mm. payment, don't give her anything. In fact, pay her cats. Pay the Buddhist cat and say to the Buddhist cat, time is an illusion. And the Buddhist cat will say, thank you very much, perfect, and then won't give you 
the money back. I don't really understand what you're talking about, Mr. Priest. It doesn't matter, Priest. as long as one of us understands, You do, my, you do the Buddhist meditation? No, but if the Buddhist cat is there, maybe you could look after the Buddhist cat, spread the enlightenment to the producer, the mad Lauren that you mentioned, and then maybe she will pay you. Sounds interesting. Anyway, yeah. coming yes. back to what we were talking mm. about, you have a beautiful smile, Mr. Chris. You do acting as well? You, you're I do little bits here and there, and then I show the films to schools, and I say, if you go into acting, don't end up like this, and we go through all the mistakes I make. Oh, that is very and interesting. And they like that. You do this in yes. the school. Yes. You know what? We had this idea with uh, the sat down with the Lo with Lauren. As I say, most of the time I don't like sitting yeah. with her. This is the one who is she, she, oh. I think it's important we remember. Oh, yeah. She yeah. don't even drink. She don't drink. I she didn't don't know she doesn't she drink all smoke. that before. No, 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 she don't. Yeah. She don't yeah. drink. She, 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 she's always on health. Uh, health all the time. Yeah, she yeah. Don't, you know what she drink in the show? She make me drink apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Has she got her own teeth? Has she got her own teeth? Mm, very bad I don't think teeth. so. Well, I don't think so. Why, I think it? half of them are gone. Yeah. <laughs> Quite honestly. Yeah. We, what I was saying oh, is that uh, she came up with this idea in, in one scene. You know I used to be on the heroin. And, and again, I tell everyone, if you're very young, you must not take the drugs. The drugs are very, very... Bad and I'd like you. to tell her she's no longer on heroin. No, but you can see the, the signs <laughs> yes. uh, from the show. Uh, I have to shoot up in front of the audience with the heroin. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought it might be maybe a good idea to take this to the schools, to the older children, to teach them what happens if you go on drugs. Because I deteriorate more and more and more mm -hmm. in the wonderful show that Roger Peace wrote. For me, for, um, for me, that I play for Lauren, mm -hmm. which is Love Conquers All. It's has the show finished or is it still on? Oh, the, you know, the show is uh, still uh, starting again. We start again on the 19th of January in Pentameters in Hampstead for Sorry, two I weeks. Catch that. Starting again when? Pentameters, Pentameters in Hampstead. In, Hampstead. in, London. in London, you know, they, they commissioned the show for two weeks. And the nearest Box underground? Box office, please. The, yeah. the nearest underground? It's Hampstead, Hampstead. High Street. Hampstead. Oh, thank you, interview me now. Well, I just like to help. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> it's the 100 year celebration of me. I'd be 100. I was born in 1915, Chris. I will be 100 and we want to do this amazing show for two weeks in Hampstead. We're not sure after where we go. But that's why I think Lauren is interested in talking to you about the possibilities of how we can make me more famous and get more uh, everywhere. To, and get more people to go to the show. And get more people to go to the shows. Why do you think? I think that what is happening with the theatre is if you look at what's happening in the West End, for example, mm -hmm. they're having everything people already know. So they're having the books and the films and they're bringing everything back that people already know. Mm -hmm. They repeat over and over. So if you do a new show, like for example, Love Conquers All, which is a wonderful show, the feedback is incredible. But people, they don't know it. So they don't come to that as much as they would go to something famous. And then I have a friend, uh, he writes this beautiful show called The Croc. It's a wonderful show, he put it on the pentameters. Wonderful show, uh, based on the Browning uh, thingy, uh, Terence Rattigan. Mm -hmm. And he can't get enough the audience because he know, he, nobody knows the show, it's new. So I think what she's thinking of doing is bringing together some uh, companies that have already got something that they're doing, like a famous show, maybe a local company, and they have a good audience, like maybe Whispers or Presswood or I don't know, Homer Green, and a company maybe like yours, a company like Lawrence, and maybe Steve, and we all do this fringe together. That'd be nice. We all do this week on fringe but or is, something. But is, is there a fringe we in uh, Is there a fringe in High Wycombe anyway? No. No, not in no, and spring. I think that's why she's a very good idea. Ah. There's no fringe. There's festival, but no fringe. And when's the festival? The festival is in May. So, so there's, there's these ideas. We got these ideas. between now and Christmas. Uh, what, now? Yeah, now between it's now and Christmas. <laughs> but there's nothing planned. No, as far no, as you know. No, I can't see her doing anything now. She's tired. She no, I, don't, I, know, I mean in Highwick in generally. 
Is there uh, anything on? I, I think there's lots of fairs mm. and lots of Christmas stuff happening. Mm. So anyway, what are your plans for 2015? Well, let's think. Not to give rush answers to questions I haven't thought about. That's one. <laughs> Good um, answer. Secondly, to put plays on at Oxford Fringe. Thirdly, to try and get to Italy, which is where we're planning, I hope, to go um, with art. To return to Poland, to put on plays in London is also the plan. Financed by, hopefully, 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 the sale of books and plays on Amazon. Um, and on my own personal basis to appear in more films. I've been in quite a few films, but only short films, nothing special. But that's all new, so to appear in those sort of films. But most importantly, to remove all the stress that happened last year with things not happening that were planned. That was very, very stressful. It I'd sounds really to me that you have a lot of different, wonderful ideas, very mm -hmm. creative ideas, mm -hmm. and, and I really hope that you can achieve what it is, but maybe sometimes you need to maybe just prioritize a few and say, right, this is what I'm going to do. I think that's how she works. I think mm -hmm. she works with life coaching, mm -hmm. which is also very good. Very good. Yeah, one of the things I'm doing next year is mentoring of... Um, Six, uh, 19, eight, 18 to 25 year olds. Wonderful, um, is, wonderful. Yes. So anything you else you would like to tell our audience? Because as you're talking, the the numbers went up and then they suddenly went down. I don't know why they went down, but they keep going talk, up, up and down. One of us is talk. I think it probably went up the most when you nearly covered me with what I thought might have been whiskey. The I whiskey, almost fell on the floor yeah. to drink it. But then I, I think that was wasn't. really a good bit of, yes. of the show. Yes. So well, if, when if are there was, what, do, what do you want from them? Well, when, when are people, when going, are people to going to watch this? this? Uh, well, whenever it goes on air. <laughs> well, yeah. I presume it will go on uh, December. Okay, December? so it's going to be yeah, before sometime. Christmas and therefore Yes, we're I going to do a special then. Christmas. Do you want to come back? A Christmas yes, special? Yes, I'd, I'd, I would like to. Do you to. sing I or would. dance or act or do anything that we can, or maybe just read something? I, I can sit there and smile and clap happily. That'd be nice. I be a happy clapper. A happy clapper, yes. maybe. Maybe you could even be Santa Claus. We could maybe. Um, one of the actors I have is Santa Claus. Maybe I could <laughs> get him to come with me. <gasps> Ah, he's in Bista at the moment. He lives as, in Bista. No, no, he is Santa in Bista Shopping Centre. Oh, I wonder if we'll bring him. I will try to. Bring Santa Claus. What? He is and, 78 and what? years old. You say old. he's an actor? Yes. What do you mean he's an actor? Santa Claus isn't an actor. Really? He always what? told me. Maybe he's a stand-in. He must be. Stand-in, because he'd be too busy doing other No, it's like, you know, you have the Robbie Williams, but then you have the stand-in for the Robbie Williams. Or yes, you have but, but come on, you've got to keep up to date. Have you not heard of the obesity crisis? The what? The obesity crisis. What? The fat? The fat people. What about the fat people? Well, that's why he's replacing Santa. He can no longer get down the chimneys. <gasps> so he has to have a stand-in, which is what this person Oh, does. that is awful. But we want people on, no matter if they're big, small, little, green. Well, I can tell I them to try and I don't care. You bring him on. Anymore. I can tell them try and That's anymore, the whole but, ooh, point of my show, is I want people... You think anyone would put on a 99-year-old woman? Well, do you think that... I'm dead I, already. So if I bring him along, will you provide cake? Oh, I'm sure. Have we might even find someone to cake. make a cake. We might even find someone to make a Don't Christmas cake. Don't look at me like that. I'm not making a cake. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, so you're going to come back with Santa Claus. The real Santa Claus. I will come back with either the real Santa Claus, who will be very big, or yes. the stand-in. No, no, no. No, no, no. Only the real Santa Claus come back. I, mean, I, cannot, I cannot make future predictions or guarantees on behalf of the Conservative government. I feel I cannot commit myself to this sort of thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was going into character. I, I, I was you suddenly like possessed. You like me. You jump in I, and out. I was suddenly please. taken over there. I, I think you apologize. need another whiskey um, camera. Well, I could have a camera after to calm me down. Mm. And whiskey camera. Try and imagine why 30 uh, seconds salut. is slightly longer than 30 seconds. But thank, thank you. you. <laughs> mm. all right so uh, anyway so as i said we plan for you to come back we have a lot of fun but now as i said if there's anything you need in the near future that we can help you talk to the people talk to the people tell them what you want i know what i want money lots of it lots of money to sponsor moving on theater there i told you what i want
So we can go along doing Laura and can keep doing our shows, right? That's what she told me. I didn't really want to say that. She forced me. She said she sack me. Right, sorry. Oh, that. sorry. Um, if, however, you live in Oxford, then on your way to High Wycombe, of course, support everything that's been talked about here. But when you come back to Oxford, go and visit the Almost Random Theatre website. You don't have to give us anything. Just come and have a look. Most of our plays will be for free in the short term anyway. But just go and have a look. And if you wish to become involved, no financial encouragement or discouragement, then just come along. Almost Random Theatre. And thank you so much for coming to this TV show. Oh, I'm hey, not playing Hey, you're taking off on my I know, show. I do apologise. Enough, I'm enough. I'm so sorry. Excuse so sorry. me, this is my show, not his. It's mine, all right? You never forget that. It's the other PF show, right? Not this. I do apologise. And I hum right. humbly beg well, your apologies. Enough is enough now. Nice you talk for you. too much. Yes. Say goodbye to Marcel. Goodbye, Marcel. Yes, because he's always doing his boxing and yes. whatever. And uh, I'm very, very must apologize for that awful drink, whatever it mm. was. But you'll be mm. very calm when you drive. And it's very nice to meet you. And that's the end of our show tonight. So we're looking for lots of guests. If you're not too frightened to sit here with me and to drink whatever it is that ends up in my decanter. I look forward to seeing you. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs>